where is really music going? What is it now coming to? Is it an entertainment industry? Which I hate. All the contracts which you signed, you are described as a part of entertaining industry. Entertainment, yes, entertainment. <laughs> While what I'm doing is certainly not an entertainment, it's a work. Uh, you have to use your brains and your mind to go to my concert. It's not uh, that you are going there before your dinner. Давай еще раз начнем, и все-таки в левой руке сделаем песню, не быструю. Давай теперь сделаем... As Pogorelic plays through the opening, Kazaradze provides pointers to their agreed interpretation. Тут начало. Ну, ты, да? Да. Средиеза. Теперь тональность другая. И уже эта музыка как-то передает эмоции и просьбу Ундины к отцу. Mm -hmm. И тут же, значит, отец подхватывает, дает ей отрицательный ответ на то, чтобы она... Потому что Ундина влюблена в, в зем... земного человека. человека. Да. Вот это последнее прошение к отцу. Вот эту а тему, потом? Да, yeah. Ласковая интонация. Ласковая интонация. Ответ. И вот, пожалуйста, Марка Бертрана, как вот здесь все время нужно чувствовать ноготь, скарбо, ноготь, вот, вот это. эти Вот это? Видишь, да. Нет. В левой руке. Видишь, как он... О. Это ноготь. Это ноготь. The, one of the most uh, striking passages in Scarbo, which is considered by most people, including being very highly skilled professional pianists, as extremely difficult, is a sequence of chromatic seconds. Could you first of all explain what that is, and then show us slowly how you do it, and then play it as you play it? Could you do those three things? Well, probably the camera would have to see it. <laughs> seconds. Playing. They're played by right hand only. Two notes, two adjacent notes at the same time are being played. Probably yeah. what is difficult about these seconds, I would uh, probably give the easiest answer, is that usually you're not supposed to play seconds because in all the other literature, seconds are usually described as dirt, something which shouldn't happen because... That's two adjacent notes. Yes, if, if um, uh, taken together, they sound as like... Um, as a dissonant, not mm. a consonant. So, used by Ravel to um, uh, bring a special effect um, of a moving spirit. So, but can you just, before you go on, can you tell me why they are actually difficult to play? Because the fingering is unusual. You, as I already said, you're supposed to do something which, for all your studies, you have to avoid. Yeah. And you are supposed to avoid, because if you, by mistake, take a second, then it's um, something very bad. So, by ac accelerating them, uh, the difficulty, of course, grows. And then um, <coughs> it is the uh, developing uh, uh, speed, and finally, um, they have to be um, played from the top of the keyboard to the very low section. 
many things in Scarborough are very unusual, very um, uncomfortable. For what instance, the, the left hand has to do incredible things sometimes, has to jump over the right hand uh, and, uh, to indicate the rhythm. like that. <laughs> so um, sometimes um, it is. And probably the most difficult about that is to put all these difficulties, each page full of, together and to make music out of it. Down. so difficult, the real answer would be that whatever is written in a score should become as if it does not come from the piano, as if it comes from the orchestra. <laughs> 